Welcome to episode four of Long Drive. In this series of videos, Grant and I started a journey in Lake Tahoe that will eventually end in San Diego. Today we are finishing up the back nine at the Olympic Club Ocean Course. They've actually held five US Open championships here, and let's just say that this is one of the most challenging golf courses we have ever played. Hopefully y'all enjoy the final episode here in San Francisco. Next stop will be Monterey, California. Without further ado, let's see what we can score here at the Ocean Course Olympic Club. Oh my Episode four, the back nine out here at Olympic Club where they've held the US Open now, wait, what is it, five times they've held the US Open here? On hole number 10, Grant, doggy right, par four, 380. Let's get it. Here we go, back nine, nine holes of straight up major championship golf. Major championship. Let's see how low we can go. That's so cool of you to do. All right, I'm gonna try the same thing. All right, that cut too. You better make that tracer cut right. Dude. Are you kidding me? That was so deep. That was not an angry one-handed follow through. I've just been doing the helicopter finish to the point where I had to let go on that one. That was good. I don't know what I'm doing with that follow through today, but it's kind of working. Let's keep the ball rolling here. Let's keep it rolling. I, yeah. I am having a top 10 golf experience right now. I I'm mean, trying to take in like, because I do remember watching this course a little bit on TV. I'm just trying to take it in how it was for the pros when they played here. It is a challenging course to say the least. I'm imagining all the people. Not me. I feel like I would I would hit a couple people in the head if I was if I was playing. Here we go. Again. 134 yards here for me. I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge. I'm just gonna hit a knockdown pitching wedge. It's almost the wind's almost behind us. So it's just gonna be a, a flighted one, a little bit lower. Knock this thing down. How's that? Oh, it's a little short. I love that rider. It's just short. 114, pretty full, 58 degree. Got to get some spin here. So trying to land this one just on and hopefully nip it in there. Oh. It's fun. Not bad. That was nice though. I like the way it played that. Hold it a hair, but we're going to roll this one in. We're kind of in a groove right now. We're in a groove. We're in a groove. A little right to left, not much break here. I thought it was a lot closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Need one to fall here. Just sit. Here we go. Oh, that was clutch. Gotta give it to him. That was clutch. Let's go. What the? That was weird. I don't want to make any excuses, actually. That was just a weird putt. The grain kind of grabbed my balls there. It's an unfortunate three putt. That is the second one today. The second two footer that I missed. Is that, is that mayo? Nope, yes. Okay. Do you have any relish? Oh, right there. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of that. Okay. It's usually green. <laughs> and then is that, that's mayo, right? Yeah. I'll do a little bit of that. Okay. Here we go. 430. Kind of an ugly hole there for both of us. I mean, I blew my first putt by. We were able to save par. Currently, two over to four over. That was a nice little three putt. Now we got but the burger dog. It's basically what that is going to do for me is I'm never going to have another three putt again after that. They said if you buy a burger dog, you'll never three putt. And you'll actually only make birdies. So therefore eight birdies coming in. That was your best swing of the day. Guaranteed without question. Dude, it's just not going anywhere with the wind. Oh, come on. Get through. Oh yeah, get right up against the tree. That's when I stall out and get handsy, Grant, right there. On top of the ball swing, doesn't always work. How's the burger dog feeling? That's good. I know it eliminates strokes, so I'm gonna keep eating it. For me, it kind of added strokes, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> after that two shot, it added strokes. Maybe, we'll see, maybe I still make birdie, I don't really know. When you get food at the turn, no matter what, if you play good or bad, you, you gotta blame it on it. Yeah. But the burger dog is fire, so even if I play bad, I'm happy. Here we go, guys. As you saw off the tee, it rolled up there. <laughs> It rolled down into a divot. And I don't have much of a swing. I don't know if you can really get this there. Oh, I'm gonna break a wrist, honestly. Yeah. I don't think you can get all the way to the pin. I would just- uh, No, I can't even, I can't, I can't really swing at this, honestly. You're good from like 40 yards. If you can get it within 40 yards. Yeah, I'm not gonna swing at it because I literally go and hit my hand right here, so. Yeah. Oh, there you got it out. Get, don't give me a down slope. That's all I'm begging. I'm happy with that. Look at this tree for a second. It's just growing. <laughs> that like, is really cool. It's growing double. It's just a bridge. Go walk on top. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Photo? 
Guys, camera was not recording on that last shot for some reason, and that was my best swing of the day. Straight up next to the pin, I hit a six iron from 185, just left of it. He'll zoom in. I don't know what's going on. We apologize for that. It, it like it's done that twice. It yeah, <laughs> it's done yeah. that twice to Ryder. It's not Ryder's fault. Second time today, it missed one of my tap ins and then it just missed a really beautiful oh, swing. 115. I got a full 58. That bird scared me. I gotta get up and down for bogey. That's just been brutal. Last two holes for me is taking the wind out of my sails. For sure. It's been a scrappy round, but I gotta pull something together. I we got some golf to play, so who knows? That's rolling. Golf's frustrating, man. It'll kick you down, that's for sure. This is a tough course, but hey, see if we can make it. Here is my birdie putt. I got 25 feet up the hill. Good roll. Let me in. I want to join the party. Need a putt like Joey. Here we go, fighting for par. Except I have a putt of bogey. Ugh. It's my second triple bogey this trip. We're walking off the green and Ryder's like, well, that happened fast. Sure did, sure did. Strokes, they just keep adding sometimes. Sometimes you just can't take it anymore. And right now I'm at my limit. Holy oh, crap. Maybe on the green. Oh, you might be on the green. That was really hit weird. I hit that off the bottom of the fish. Left side. We'll see. Sometimes you just gotta take a second, breathe, simmer on down, simmer on down. I don't think this is the course to be messing around with, you know? When you're having a bad day, it will bite you. Might have chose the wrong day to be three putting a bunch, but actually I don't think there's ever a good day to three putt. Don't get me wrong, it is a very, very tough course. But I do believe you could go low out here. I'm so analytical, I'm looking back and it's like, most of my strokes are mainly on putting. Seven over par with a bunch of three putts and a bunch of missed two footers, or a couple missed two footers. There you are. Yeah, he's not going for the pin or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go, for, I'm gonna try and cut it up around there. Oh, that's gonna be so cool if you do that. Dude, if Grant does this, look at this. He has a, I mean, he's gonna have to fade it. You can't really draw it off. Hey, if you do this, how far do you have? 175. Sure, I would say just do it, just in case. I'm going for it. I didn't come here to shoot a course record. I came here to pull off some shots. Hey, we get a nice view of our next hole over here. <laughs> we just see where the pin is. See, there's advantages to being in the other fairway sometimes. This is interesting, guys. I'm gonna have to try and hit a gap. Two gaps, actually. I gotta hit first through the two trees, and then I gotta hit it through another gap. So I gotta go boom, boom. Bingo, bingo. Hit I did it. gap, but it didn't get through the second gap. Oh! Where did it go? It's right up near the green. No, yeah. you got that good of a bounce? I think it's pretty good. I, it's short, it's short. I'm hitting it on my target today, I really am. So I felt confident over that. You know how awesome golf is? It's like you can be playing really bad and then hit one good shot and everything changes. This is one, 140 and I'm hitting a 54. That's how I believe it's gonna fly out of this lie. 140? Grant, just trust me, please. No, I agree. Oh, I agree with you. That does not look 140 to me. What do you think? Oh, that looks like 125. <laughs> oh yeah. That's right at it, just right. Dude, it's long. No way. That is the difference. Seven inches. Sometimes, you saw that fly. It was like flyer light, coward, no spin, knuckleball. I mean, that's, I hit a 54 from 140. I've never done that before. Yeah. It's crazy. Absolutely not. Dude, that's absolutely unreal. But like, dude, you know, at the end of the day, it's good vibes only. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Grant, Greenside Bunker. To even get it to this, Bunker is his absolute miracle with all the dodges I had to take. And a nice little upslope. Wow, you guys are sticking it. Oh, that was beautiful. Grant is having a day. He's uh, having a day. All right, G, let's have some therapy sessions over here. I need it. I need to I need to really voice all my golf problems to you and hope for the best. I'll be your punching bag. Imagine you just punch me after every match. <laughs> yeah, who went in a boxing match, me or Grant? Okay, okay. I would run the other direction. Oh yeah. Don't love it. It kind of had overspin on but it. But that range for me right now is a very touchy, touchy subject. Yeah. You don't want to talk about it too Yeah, much. don't love it. No, that almost had a little bit of overspin. I could see the way it came off the blade. If he hit that normally, I think that would have checked up. Hope for the best here on this putt. I see it. I see it. It's a, now it's about actually hitting it. Yes! Holy good putt. That was a good momentum booster for me. I needed that. Nope. Tried. 
Even if I can slowly get a stroke on Grant every once in a while, by the end, maybe I can get a win. And that, I mean, I know it was just one stroke on him, but that was big for my Dang. program in the stroke yeah. play match oh, today. Yeah, that is. Thank you. All right, I got seven iron here. 195 par three, need a hole in one or something. Go, oh. get into that pocket. I missed it, man. Okay, I will oh, take that. Oh, you are in the pocket. I'm okay with that. This is, par th this is a hard par three here. What does he got here? He's got a six? Yep. No. Dude, it Don't never. Don't gobble his balls. Okay. It got through. It didn't turn over. I thought that was gonna draw a little bit. It's a funny thing at this course. It's like there's trees on every tee shot that like you have to hit it through. Like you have a goal post. You should just be glad that tree didn't gobble your balls up though. You're in a tough spot. Guys, this is not too good. I think, I honestly don't know if I can get this to stay short of the pin. If I can get this to stay short, I, I really pulled off a good shot. My ball's kind of sitting down here. I gotta put some spin on it. I went for it. I kept it short of the pin, hey. Just short of the green. This this green looks really hard. I'm gonna play the little runner. I lost my 58 degree, so I'm just gonna hit a 54 here. This is a weird lie too, so gotta gauge this right. That's what I was worried about. Kinda came out dead, but I'll actually take that from there. Here we go, guys. Gotta treat it like a putt. Oh, that is dude. nuts. It caught the fringe really a little bit. Crazy. It almost got a little boosted there. I think I actually see this line, so I'm feeling good about it. Just all about pace now, if I can dial this in. Nice. He did it! What a putt, G. He saw it, and he did it. It's a bogey. You know when you're like, you're an owner of a pet, like a dog. You have food up here, and you have food, and the dog's just like clawing away at you. That's what I feel like right now. I'm the dog. Grant's holding the food, and I'm just clawing away at him, stroke by stroke. I'm just getting one stroke at a time, and then eventually, I'm gonna jump, and I'm gonna bite the food, and I'm gonna just- I'm gonna hold the dog food a little bit too high, so you no, can't reach it. No, you're not, okay? All right, just gonna keep clawing away, stroke by stroke. I'm currently seven over, he's four over. I like that swing, though. A little low on the face. Wow. Oh. Low on the face, but it went straight. I'm feeling scrappy today, but at, at the end of the day, sometimes you can just keep fighting. Oh, nice. I've been trying to cut it all day. That's the first draw. I really hit much with my driver. I think another thing is I gotta figure out a way to get you out of your comfort zone. Oh, Garrett Clark. See, I'm getting him out of his comfort zone. Good shot off the tee from Grant. Good shot off the tee from me. Prime position for both of us. How far do you have? 144. This is a tucked pin. 144 here. I got a pitching wedge. It's starting to get cold, huh? Dude, I'm going to need to do laundry. I only brought a couple pullovers. That's not far. Okay, here we go. Grant here with the pitching wedge. Oh, no. Carry, Carry for him. Carry for him. Whoa! 126. Even if I wanted to hit 58 degree, I couldn't because I lost it. I got a 54. Try to just carry that bunker and hopefully stop one. Nice and tight. In the door. Right in the door. Come on. Jump. Wanted to hit a 58, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, I saw Grant short in the bunker and I was like, all right, let's get it there. See, that was a strategic plan. I decoyed him. I got him right where I want him. I wanted to act like I was trying to hit that short, you know? Or act like I was, never mind. Shot. Yeah, I had to take a drop. We're scrambling today. I've gained so much more respect for pros that shoot under par in a US Open than I ever thought I would. Like now playing it in person, I they are on another level. I'm going for the bump and run. I'm doing it. Oh, it went left. Went left on me, okay. Here we go, Ryder. Oh, the spinner. Oh. Thought it was gonna hold. See here, we got a read. No. Oh. A little bit of a bogey train here. I think I'm at five over now. 150 on the dot here. Oh, we got something on the loons. 150 on the dot here. You got a pitching wedge or nine? No, I got a nine. Yeah. I'm just gonna go quick, keep the play going, punch it in there.
Come on. Not bad. Yeah? I don't know. I think that's a little long. I got a pitching wedge. Pretty just stock. I think it's stock. I've been, I got the fear going long here. Oh, that is so good. Gotta go. It did. That was great. He says it's long. What? All right. That was a pitching wedge? That was a pit, but I must have landed on the front and just kept going. No spin. Starting the birdie streak right now. Let's see it, man. I don't want to see it because I still want to win. And I'm three shots behind Grant. He's three strokes on me. These bunkers are so deep that you just like disappear. You can't even see the guy when he goes in. <laughs> yeah, Joey's gone. Joey's we lost gone. him. And whoa, there it is. No. Oh. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm down the hill here. I don't know where this goes. I think it goes straight. The grain's telling me right, the slope's telling me left. So we'll see what happens. It's going on. Dude, it is fast. Well, it's not even that. It's just so confusing. I did not see that at all. Yeah. I saw that going right. I'm just going to start hitting every putt at the hole, honestly. I'm playing no break. <laughs> I feel like I'm better off. I'm not even kidding you. Just trying to hit every putt straight. I feel like I'd make more You putts. go ahead, yeah. That's a theory. That's a theory I want to test. Got to get a stroke on Grant here. I am just <laughs> racking him up, the bogeys. Good pot, G. Got a stroke on Grant. What is the score right now? I believe I'm eight over par, and I believe Grant is six over par. Yep. We are into the last couple holes. I mean, it's coming down to the wire. Kind of like the last match, both of us played pretty pretty poorly day one out here at Olympic Club. We're doing it again. I'm, I'm especially doing it again, especially on the greens. Grant's actually striking it well, though. Like, to be fair, Grant has not hit too many bad shots. It's just our scoring's not been great here. All right, guys, 16th hole of the day, 609 yards. Garrett's going to lead us off here. You got to hit a big old draw. I like this. Oh, that was pounded. Oh, no. That's fine. Okay, that's all right. I'm going to go more of the route teeing off right here. Go more direct. Yeah, I was trying to play the draw. Just went straight. I'm happy about that, though. Okay. That's fine there. Ryder, the guy behind the camera who films just hit a shot and played on the screen, Ryder. There you go. I mean, he's insane. He's a natural. He's just a natural athlete. I swear he's good at everything. He's the number one spike ball player in the world. Just so you guys know, I don't I don't think we've ever said that. Yeah, we've never said that. He's casually the number one at a sport, so that's pretty cool. And he hit the fairway, first swing of the day. Wow. What hole is this for us? 16. Nice. We have three holes left. All right, Grant, no pressure. He's an announcer voice. All right, I am birding at least one of these par fives, but if I, it's the last thing I do. Oh, the knuckler. Left, left. Bro. Here we are, here we are. Six iron in hand. Trying to lay up here. Got 330 after hitting a solid drive. That just goes to show how long this hole is. That came out just like mine. No, 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 no. Skirt into the fairway. I need, I have to be in the fairway. That's not good. I don't have a 58 degree and that's what I need right now. We got 140 to the pin. I got my 50 degree. I'm gonna play for the flyers. All right, this thing better jump on me. It's gonna jump on you. It sure did. They fly forever, dude. What the heck? Oh my, that is so well gauged. Ryder's body just, oh. All right, here we go. Cut that, that out of context. <laughs> Please. No, we were talking about Ryder's like rotation through impact is crazy. He's playing this hole and almost just made an eagle off camera. I got Grant 60 degree because I don't have my 58. 127 yards, carry distance 110. And he does everything so nonchalant. He just like gets up there and he like hit that. And he's like, oh, it was thin. And it landed like two feet from the pit. Be good. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is a beast of a par this five. This is a beast of a par five. Thank God for Grant's 60 degree. I think I'm going to be using it this whole trip now. All right, Grant and I got some good looks at birdie. I think we're both going to make it, honestly. You need to start playing golf. You got to get away from being behind the camera and get in front of it. <laughs> I'm going to clickbait you. I'm going to say you're the most natural, talented golfer I've ever seen. And my thumbnail is going to be like this. It's going to be rider rotating. I think it's me. I think it's... Sure. Hey, I got a free read. I actually marked mine a little bit to the right too, and I'm directly on Grant's line. I get a free read. Oh, he made it. I needed you to miss that, but good putt. I'm burning the next one too, and then one after that. And if I don't shoot a good score, it's because we ran out of holes. I don't normally say this. I really don't. It's kind of sad that I don't say this too often, but I think this putt has a better chance of going in than it does missing. There's no way. <laughs> 
Now it sums it up for me. I knew, I thought he was gonna make that for sure. Three down, two to play. Dude, it feels like, it's just so frustrating because I feel like we've played good. It's just our scores do not reflect it. Like, Did I, I make like a double and a triple again today? Yeah, and you missed an eagle putt from two feet. And a two footer for par. We have a two hour drive and I can cry the whole time. By the time I get there, I'll be reset. Celebrity shot, Ryder, he can do everything. Let's see if he can putt. Four is birdie. Four he is birdie. Two. Oh, Dude, that's he good. can literally do everything. I am gonna need Grant to choke on these last two holes. Oh, Grant. lots of room over there. I'm just gonna play these par fives from the rough. Wind it up. I'm going for the green. I, I think I have to. I don't know if I will be able to. I don't know if I have shot at it. I think I'm gonna have ways in, but what a bad shot. All right, the robot, the machine, the natural athlete. Dude! Wow. He doesn't even play golf. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. We got a nice little gap, playing at a three-shot hole again. I've not put myself in position, but I mean, even if I did put myself in position, I'm not reaching either of these par fives in two. That was cool. It was really cool. I'm going for the green, I feel like I have to. 260, I'm going for it. This is gonna be cool, I'm gonna get a cool angle. I'm actually gonna zoom back here. I feel like I have to go for it, don't I? Yeah, I wanna go, I wanna get a, a ball flight angle. I need something big. All right, here we go guys, we're gonna try and get a, see if we can track his ball flight from back here. Tell me if I should do this more often. I hit it solid. Uh, dude, I did that same thing. I did that same thing yesterday. It grabs your club and the ball gets smothered. You cannot try and hit it low out of this rough. You cannot do it. That is frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. That one stings a lot. Cause I tried to hit like a low low draw and it just went right into the ground, dude. Yeah, now now you gotta play for it. You can still make birdie. 225, I got a seven iron though. I mean, I mean it flies on me. So it's, just... got, it's got to fly like crazy. Oh yeah, it flew too, it's gonna roll up there. Garrett! Oh my, oh my goodness! That was crazy! <laughs> Look at the divot, guys. Dude, It was I, like a low knuckle I, what, I knew that's what was gonna happen though. You can't judge that though, that's so hard to judge. I'm happy. You're I was probably gonna have a better birdie look than you'd have if you hit a wedge, honestly. Uh, yeah, honestly, probably, well we'll see. I don't know how far I am. I'm happy, but I'm also really upset about the hybrid. But hey, if I can make a birdie, I, that'd be sick. 130, I'm gonna hit my 50, full 50. I gotta, I gotta actually step on this thing. It's gonna be a full one. Come on. Oh. Carry, 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 carry. Yeah, it did. Okay. Ball below your feet like that, you can't, it's hard to tell on camera, but I mean, it's so slope, severe. I got so lucky. I could have rolled all the way back. If you're right here. here, Grant, you're in the rough. I know. But I'm not. But you're not. All right, Joey, just hold out. So it's time for me to make this. Said the hole's looking wide open. Oh, Grant, that, that, dude, dude. Oh, up, up, up. Actually, it really wasn't as far past as I thought. It just broke left. You were begging that the whole way. I will have a chance if I make this on Grant. Where's... Well, guys, I would love to just make this for the confidence. It'd be just beautiful. One time, all day. <laughs> I'm gonna cry a little bit. I got a little lazy with that tap in. Final hole, 347 par four. This is a beautiful hole. This is so cool with the clubhouse in the background. Got driver in hand. Saw some birds fly away. Think they got scared. That's a good sign. Don't know if I would say good. Here and I have gotten a little careless today with our putting and both done that. So let's delete that one. Let's hit a good drive here. Shouldn't have hit driver. I don't know what I was doing. Here we go, guys. This is where Garrett's at. I mean, you actually have a shot, dude. It's not much, but it is a shot. That's for 100%. sure. 100%. You can go right up through there. The pin's right over there. I mean, I got about 135, 140. I got a 50 degree. I got to get it up. If I give myself a birdie look, I will be so happy. This is a tough finisher. That's for sure. I want to finish strong here. Oh, it's got to go. Get up. 
No, oh, no, man. no. All right, now tell me how you really feel. That was a foot from carrying Dude, that bunker. Dude, how long? How do you make a divot that long? Dude, that was a foot from carrying that bunker, man. I need a little luck, Eric Clark. Don't act like I haven't had some bad break. Grant bounced back into the fairway, and that was a foot from carrying the bunker. It's not what you want to see, but hey, I still have a chance. Grant has one stroke on me. I only get one stroke. And he's got a tree right in his way. <laughs> Look at this strategically placed tree. Hey, 126. 126. Just carried the tree. I'm like a foot over that tree. I'm not even kidding. Got lucky. All right, guys. Well, I got to do something here. I'm one shot back. It's the final hole. Grant doesn't have an easy chip, but both of our shots are kind of hard. So got to hit a good one here. There's no way. Oh. oh my God. That was awesome. <laughs> Give this guy I literally, I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll rake that for you. You take the rest of the whole Are lot. you sure? Now I, I have to, I don't even know what's going on now. Let's talk about this. I want to know what's going on. Well, now I'm seven over and you're seven over. Yes, let's go. What a way to finish. That was awesome. That was awesome. I got to embrace the slope here. I'm going to come out hot. Oh, and he did hit his ball. Oh boy, that was virtually impossible. That's for us to tie again, actually. I'm not even kidding you, I thought I left it short. I thought I like stubbed mine and it rolled out all the way to here. That's just how fast it is. Grant to tie it up. This is for us to tie the first two rounds of the series. Oh. We, broke, oh. we both broke 80, actually. I think I shot eight over. I'm happy with it first time. Epic. Dude, that, that was unreal. That was hey, dude. I, I honestly like there's sometimes where like pressure or whatever gets to you, but like I'm just so yeah, frustrated just... in my game these last two days. I can't say I'm just getting so frustrated not making putts. I'm getting aggressive with them and then not making them coming back. I just got a lot of work to do on my game. Right now I'm in a little bit of a little bit of a phase on the down slope, so gotta bring my game back up. But that's awesome for Garrett. He hold that out. That's crazy. Guys, hopefully you did enjoy this Olympic Club major championship course. It's a par 71, so I believe I shot 79 and Garrett shot 78. What a start to the series. I might have to give you my wedge now. Yeah, I need it. First time you've probably ever hit a bunker shot with it, you hold it out. <laughs> Literally, that was the first bunker shot. And you get. don't realize, like, that green is so, like, undulated and weird. That was really an awesome experience. I mean, there you have it, though. I mean, U.S. Open course. Maybe they, they probably grew out the rough a little more in the actual U.S. Open, but but still, we came out here. We fought pretty hard. That was awesome. I uh, I had fun all day. I will say for two holes, I was having a bad time. When I made that three-putt, missed a two-footer, and then, then uh, three-putted from, like, literally seven, eight feet for a triple. We haven't been playing great so far, but the last thing I wanted to do was shoot over 80 again, so I just, like, really, I locked it in. I tried... I was still scrambling the rest of the day, but I just tried as, as hard as I could just to at least break 80. And thankfully I got pretty lucky to make that bunker shot and shot 78, 79. And it's crazy, we've played two rounds each and we are one stroke apart, total. Yeah. And we shot 80 yesterday, both of us did. Then we shot 79. 79 and 78 today. What can Ooh. two scratch golfers shoot at a US Open course? There you have it. We struggled the most on the greens. Oh and I think God, if no we could have dialed that in, we could have done something really special today. I think we we both, and like I, like we were saying, we didn't play the best, but I think we could have shot around even, couple over, at least broke, broke 75. But yeah, we're gonna do the outro on the good camera. That's the end of the round, I guess, analysis. We gotta work on the putting. That's a wrap of the first four episodes at the Olympic Club, guys. We played the ocean, we played the lake course today was the lake course surprisingly we shot better on the lake course than the ocean course apparently the ocean course is a lot easier it wasn't bad overall it was not I great i love how close our games are and they're just such like we both had bad holes we did all the same stuff it was just we're in we're, sync we're, yeah we're very in sync right now so now it's we got we got to get better and better it's good the way we start off it's only it's only uphill from here with our games five and six is poppy hills play some b-roll rider poppy hills i've heard good things about it and then we might be playing the hay while we're down in monterey uh, which is tiger's par three course so stay yeah. tuned for all that hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did Stay tuned for more content, guys. Till next time, peace out.